Lesson 11 Forest Our Natural Wealth Hello children have you ever been to or heard about a forest is there a small or a big forest or forest like area near your city forests are large areas where trees grow very close to one another under natural conditions forests contain a rich variety of animal and plant wildlife let us look at some of the major forest types in india evergreen forests have trees which remain green throughout the year in monsoon forests new growth of leaves takes place when rainfall occurs trees in coniferous forests have needle like leaves that are cone shaped so that snow does not accumulate on them trees in semi desert and desert forests have deep roots to draw water from depth mangrove forests have very thick vegetation these are found on deltas of rivers forests play an important role in our daily lives from purifying the air to providing a large number of raw materials apart from these forests are a home to many tribal people they not only provide food water and materials for everyday living but are a spiritual and cultural home for the tribals tribals make ropes baskets pattals bags mats etc from the items they get from the forests and sell them in their local markets some important tribals in india are gonds bheels gaddis santhals khasis and badagas due to rapid increase in human population a large portion of forest land is used for construction of roads houses buildings etc this cutting of trees without planting new trees is called deforestation many activists have raised their voice and carried out campaigns to protect the forests in 1970s such campaigns spread throughout india and came to be known as chipko movement the word chipko means to embrace the villagers hugged the trees to protest against their felling by contractors in programs like van mahotsav a large number of trees are planted and taken care of till they are fully grown this is done in order to maintain the balance in nature 